Hello everyone, welcome back to our Thunkable Tutorials. Um, this Thunkable Tutorial is actually really interesting. It's something that Technovation showed me when I was competing and I thought it would be just useful to show you guys um, this tutorial. I wasn't sure if you guys got it again this year and I thought it was a pretty nifty tutorial because it just kind of deals with text input and then correlating that text to input on the screen through the app. So I thought that would be something useful because you can use this to make all sorts of text input things. So anything that you want to have information that the user inputs be listed on the screen, whether that's like a profile, whether that's um, like listing things, whether that's like a grocery list, whether that's reminders, anything that you want to have text input that is displayed on the screen, this can help you do that. So I wanted to show you how to do this. Um, this is just a very simple like to-do list tutorial. Um, you have the title, my to-do list, a text input bar, and then an add button. So basically it's very simple, text input, add, and then it saves that as a to-do list. So the most important component here is gonna be this add button over here that we can see. Um, I want to take everyone to note that we have a list viewer, so we have um, a text input box, an add button, and then we have a list viewer. So these are all of our components that we can have um, on the screen, and a list viewer just allows our content to be displayed in a list format. And then our invisible components is local storage one, as always, because we want to make sure that whatever what we're doing in the app is saved onto the phone so that we don't lose all of our data. So local storage one is really important to have. As always, if you want to expand your storage capability needs, I would suggest going for a real-time database or an Airtable, but it's up to you how you want to do that. Um, let's go to blocks so we can talk through the code itself. So initialize app variable task to empty list. So basically when you initialize the app for the first time, it's going to clear cache of like the list and stuff like that. Um, that's important to do because you don't want to like come on with a bunch of tasks for some reason. So we should go to cover your bases and do that. Um, when the screen starts, call local storage one to get DB task. So in this case, we've named our database task so when the screen starts we're gonna when the app starts essentially we're gonna call the local storage function get the tasks that were previously there and display them on the screen so if there is no task so if the value is null so there is no task in db task set app variable task to value and then you just don't display anything um list viewer one text items to app variable tasks. So basically what this does is we say, okay, local storage, call of our tasks that we already had in the app, display those, set them to value. If the value is none, so we have no previous tasks in the app, then set app variable tasks to value, so set it to nothing, and then display whatever app variable tasks is, right? So these are just our variables that we use to associate the different things that have been saved in the database but basically what that does is it just gets all of our previous saved functions into the app when we load it up so when add click remember we have a button called add on our screen so when we click add so when we put a text input in and we click add um, in list app variable tasks insert last so basically it puts it at the end of the list and we set it as text input one's text. So it's a text variable and it's inputted last. So it puts it at the bottom of the list so that it keeps things in order. Set it as blank and then set the, so text input text to blank because it's unestablished what the text will exactly be because it's a variable. And list viewers to text items at variable tasks. So basically we take our list and then it just adds it another one to the bottom of that list because remember we have our list viewer for all of our tasks so basically it just adds another one to the bottom using that list viewer format over here we have our third and final block of code when list viewer one item click so when we click an item that we already have in our list viewer item index returns the item and the index number and then in list at variable task remove the number index so we can remove the a task from the list if we've already completed it and then list viewer one text items to app variable tasks so basically we just remove the item from the list and then we just recheck the list to make sure that the item is gone and we save the list as the new list with the item gone 
So it's a fairly simple app here, um, but this is good to note if you want to have any text input that's saved, anything like list, anything grocery-wise, anything that you want to save information for. Um, I highly recommend doing something like this. I highly recommend using this as like a starting point. And yeah, this is your list tutorial. Hope that helped.